Black people, cause the love for black people don't stop. Let me hear you. Ain't no love. Ain't no love. Cause the black black people. Hey. Yes, I do. Ain't no love. Like the love of black people. Hey. Come on, come on. Alright, make some noise for yourselves. No justice. No racism. No justice. No racist. No what do we want? Justice. Look them signs in the air. I say, what do we want? Justice. What do you want it? Now. Come on now. I say, what do we want? Justice. What do we want it? Now. Who streets? Our Who streets? Our streets. Who streets? Our streets. Who streets? Our streets. Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Let me hear you. Ain't no Stop. All power to the people. All power. All power to the people. All power to the people. Man, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Make some noise. First off, thank you to our brown, Hispanic, Latinx, Latino brothers and sisters. Make some noise. I love my brown family. Don't get it twisted. The brown ain't standing alone. Thank you to our Native American indigenous family. I love my Native American family. They're not standing alone. Thank you to our white family, those that have enough courage to dismantle that system of hatred. Our white family, they're not standing alone. Thank you to our Asian, Hawaiian family, Pacific Islander family. Make some noise, we love you. You're not standing alone. And if you're from a place like India or wherever you are in the world, make some noise for the entire human family. Let's get it. Now make some noise with that black strong fist for the black family. You're not standing alone. And thank you, thank you, thank you to all of those who've pressed their way on today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but something in your spirit, something turned this way and turned that way and turned you around to this day. The last time 4,000 people or more, this is about 4,000 of us if you're not looking in this crowd. The last time 4,000 gathered at Doolittle Park, President Obama was in town. Many told me, Minister Stretch, don't bring that over here. They're going to tear this community up. Nobody's going to tear this community up. You can believe that. People came to build this community up. You can't compare this community to other communities. Folks know where the buck stops. People came to unite, but because we're trying to put people down, we assume the worst. So I want you to document this, take pictures, and record this, because they told us we couldn't do it. They told us, Minister Stretch, you're doing a bad thing. You're bringing negativity to the community. How I'm bringing negativity, and two weeks ago there was a shooting down the street. We're bringing love to the community. We're bringing nothing but power to the community. We making sure the mentalities are changed for the better in the community. So don't knock us down. Tell us thank you. Tell us thank you. Tell us thank you. To all of those who made today possible. People who brought the stage. People who made sure we had cooling stations. The somewhat social distancing stations. Put the word out. The media folks. So many of y'all can thank. 
Thank you to my beautiful wife. This is my wife. Bring that message, y'all. Ain't she cold? Kendall Sanders, y'all. Thank you to my mother, my family. Thank you to one of the baddest, not the oldest, maybe one of the boldest, definitely the coldest organizations in Las Vegas. New Era Las Vegas. New Era Las Vegas. If you don't know who we are, get us on Instagram, New Era Las Vegas, Facebook, New Era Las Vegas. We are a black liberation organization. Thank you. Make some noise, make some noise. Thank you to the New Black Panther Party, the People's Party, the Black Liberation Riders, the security companies, all of the brothers that came to make sure that me and my family were secure. Because we do live in a world where people will try to take your life based on the wisdom and truth that you put out. So thank you to all of those that made today possible. Give yourselves a round of applause. We shall overcome. Matter of fact, we young. Let's open it up. We shall overcome. Come on, come on. We shall overcome. Y'all know the song. We shall overcome today. Today. I do believe, I Who believe we should overcome? Come on, come on We shall overcome One more time Some, Someday, someday, someday Make some noise one more time, one more time Let's hear it We shall overcome We shall overcome We shall overcome Today Oh, deep in my heart. Hands in the air. I do believe we shall overcome someday. I said, we shall overcome someday. Keep that right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I said, we shall overcome someday. Keep that going, keep that going. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. We shall. Here we go, man. Keep that going. Sandra Blaine, keep that going. Tasha Bell Farmer, keep that going. Fred Hampton, keep that going. Freddie Gray, keep that going. Randy Taylor, someday will incite violence into you. I say to them, no, 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 no. You're so wrong. People don't need me to decide if they're going to be violent. And whenever the people are violent, they are provoked, agitated, and instigated. But I don't believe on today no one came to burn anything down, to destroy, damage, or disrespect this historic west side. But I believe in my heart people came to say to America, and to those who are in power, and to those who have been the real violent ones for so long, that hey, hey, ho, ho, your racist system has got to go. And we're also sick and tired of being killed, abused, choked, and murdered by those who claim to serve and protect. Would that be correct? Yes, sir. Is anyone sick and tired of this police terrorism? Absolutely. Now, notice I didn't say brutality. Because we are past. Somebody say past. Past. Being brutal. Being brutal. And to be honest, it was never brutal. It was terror from the very beginning. And because of that terror, we have all developed triggers PST, what is it? PS, y'all know the word. PTSD. We got all of it, all the alphabets in our head. PTSD, mental health illnesses, and paranoia. So when you see folks rising up in ways 
that are destructive, it's because the mind has been tapped out. So what you're seeing is the process of the brain reacting to all of the trauma. Am I right? Yes, sir. So don't use your energy focusing and judging on those who choose to express themselves in a more aggressive way of protesting. They want you to be concerned with target and lose focus of the fact that we are the targets. We have been targets. Just being black in itself is a target. So don't come to me complaining and talk about Minister Stretch. I'm tired of them riding and burning stuff down and don't mention the fact that people are being tired of being shot down. Dr. King said a riot is the language of the unheard. And what has America failed to hear? America has failed to hear us. Somebody say hear us. Hear us. And after years of being ignored, people will get creative in how they choose to get your attention. It's not my style, and it's not my approach. I can even disagree, but I definitely don't condemn. What I condemn is police who shoot us in the back. What I condemn is police who sit on our necks for five plus minutes. Y'all don't hear me. What I condemn is two white supremacists who kill black men while jogging in the name of a citizen's arrest. How you gonna put me under a citizen's arrest? You under arrest. Y'all go. What I condemn is politicians who are too afraid to speak truth to power because they don't want to sacrifice their re-election. What I condemn is pastors, preachers, and faith leaders who are too afraid to stay with us in the streets because they fear losing their congregations. Well, let me tell you something. If you're scared to speak the truth because you don't want to lose re-election, you already lost. If you're scared to be a pastor and speak up for your congregation, you already lost it. If you're scared to lose your family, you already lost it. Somebody say, I'm getting fired up. Woo! What I condemn is us not getting justice. What I condemn is us being called free but still being treated like slaves. That's what I condemn. So don't tell me how upset you are. People are looting, burning the rebellion. Focus on the fact that this war was not started by us. Woo! They started the fire because of injustice, and it will be justice to put the fire out. Yeah. Don't allow the police or anyone else to make you think any different. They refuse to hold themselves accountable. They make excuses for doggone everything. And that's to make you think that the one that's wrong is you. They try to get you to meet with them, work with them, partner with them. So they can have you thinking they're not the opposition. This ain't personal to no police officer, but the truth must be spoken. The system of racism in America is not a friend. And it's never been a friend. And it's been rebelling towards us for hundreds of years. Remember that slavery had people that look like me as property. So understand like anyone else, I want peace and love. But what you see is the outpouring, say outpour, outpour. of years of oppression. Like Malcolm said, the chickens are coming home to roost. Now you say, Minister Stretch, two wrongs don't make a right. And I agree, but it was never two wrongs. It's always been one wrong, and that's been on the side of law enforcement, racism, and white supremacy. <laughs> so once again, focus on who started this all. Yes, when they go low, we should go high. But high does not mean being passive, no. Act like we don't see what's going on, no. How does that mean be silent and just accept this mistreatment and terrorism? How it means standing up for justice, speaking up for mistreatment, protecting your own community? How it means being your brother and your sister's keeper? Yes, how it will always mean being respectful, loving, and kind. But don't allow those principles to hold back your frustration for those who are in the wrong. Speech law all over. Wait a minute. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. Got, there's a lot of papers up here. Somebody make some noise.
Y'all stop. All right, I'm back. Thank you, sister. I appreciate you. So, here we are, protesting, speaking out and standing against hatred, bigotry, white supremacy, racism, police terrorism. For many, this is your first rally. Any first timers? And for some, they've been down this road before. I believe, though, that on today, at the end of this road, maybe justice. I believe that at the end of this road may be peace, but we have to stay on the road to get to the end. For those that's been doing this work, don't be upset that more folks are standing up now. Be excited for them. Sometimes it takes certain things to get us up. Somebody say it's time to get up. It's time to get up. And in this case, it took names like Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd for the blindness to come off, for hearing to come to our ears, for a voice to come to our mouths. Now we are all seeing clearly now, hearing well and speaking loud because we now understand enough is enough. How long are we supposed to just take this mistreatment from law enforcement? How long are we supposed to live in fear of white folks? How long are we going to just sit and not get involved with changing this country for the betterment of our people? I'll tell you, not long. Not long at all because God, the Most High, the Creator, is lifting up the people, rising up the spirits, sparking up our minds to a higher level of consciousness. Can I get an amen? Amen. Folks was now blind, but now they can see. Come on, somebody. I ain't come to preach, but was once lost. But now they're found. And what do you see? They see that black life has no value in this country. We can sing for you, run up and down a court for you, throw a ball for you, but that means nothing when white officers can sit on our necks for five minutes and hear us say we can't breathe. What else do we see? We see that white privilege, white means privilege, and black means unfortunate. And now that you have found, what did you find? I found, somebody say I found. I found. Courage. Courage. Your voice. Your voice. Your legs. Your legs. And you found folks to stand with you. On that note, make some noise. <laughs> but don't allow this amazing grace moment to be an awful situation. What do you mean, Minister Stretch? Well, I don't want you to allow the fear to put blinders back on you. No more turning a blind eye. If we can't rely on the police to protect us, then we have to protect ourselves. If you see a situation that's not right, speak up, stand up, and correct it. That's the right, the moral, and the best thing for you to do. And before I close, I want to say to the Nevada officers, it's not about you. It's about us getting justice. We don't owe you anything. Not a meeting, not a treaty. It's not about you. Las Vegas Metro may not be like other cities. And I'm not really concerned with that. Because Metro has killed unarmed black folks like other cities. And that can't be ignored. Now I get it. You don't want to be painted with a broad brush and get the backlash from other cities. Well, if that's the case, then tell the truth. Your system has done and is still doing what other cities are doing. And at the end of the day, you are still connected to the same system that oppresses us. You may not have joined knowing you was a part of something oppressive. And you may not have malice in your individual heart. But it's bigger than you. See, the police were slave catchers during slavery. And those seeds are still manifesting, stop and frisk. Bogus purple cause stops. So realize you are walking in a tradition that's always been opposition to the people. I'm not saying you as a person, but the organization as a whole you represent has been our greatest threat. And if you won't change, officer, speak up. Stand up and help to abolish that system that you represent. I have no hate towards no police officer as an individual. But I do indeed dislike the system of policing and how it abuses the people. So understand it's not personal because it's bigger than your uncle who's a cop. 
your cool brother who's a cop. It's about the system of policing. And being a cop of color is not much better because the knowledge that you have is still rooted in racism. It's about systems. And that goes for white supremacy and racism. You may not be a racist personally, but you represent a system that represents white supremacy because you are white. So it's your choice to go with it or go against it. So neither group should be offended when people express, respectfully or indifferent, how upset they are. You should respond with love and understanding. You may not agree with how some folks stood up, but that's okay. Some things ain't my style either, but I can still be compassionate. So, where is your compassion? Where is your love and where is your understanding? Don't make it about you, officer and white person who's offended. Make it about justice. Make it about peace. Make it about love. Make it about Breonna Taylor. Uh, Floyd, uh, Floyd, young George Floyd, excuse me, Freddie Gay. Make it about them individuals. So don't be loud about George Floyd, but be quiet, officer, about Keith Childress Jr. Tashi Brown Farmer and Brian Williams, who was all killed by Las Vegas Metro. So to the officers, it's not personal. Understand, this was started by the police, and you all have to be a part of that change by giving us justice, point blank, period. And while you're doing that, we will be organizing for justice because we are done asking. We're starting to demand. Somebody say demand. Yeah. And as I close, I say to you, it's not personal. It's revolution. Now to the people. I say rise up. Rise up. I say rise up. Rise up. I say stand up. Stand up. I say speak up. Speak up. Because you don't have the luxury to be on the sidelines anymore. It's 2020 and black life still has no value. That's why the oppressor can kill us like no big deal, view us as criminal, treat us less than a dog, and get away with it. So to the allies, if you say you love black lives, act like it. Don't be out here today with a sign and be ghost next week. Don't just show up to a protest today and not work your butt off for justice tomorrow. If you see us being harassed by the police, do something about it with your privilege. As a white lady, if I'm being harassed, just your presence will make that officer get his act right. If you don't believe me, try it. You don't need no violence, no nothing. Just stand there and say, hi, I'm Heather Johnson or I'm Susie May. He gonna back the hell up and say, what's going on? Somebody say, what's going on? What's going on? To my allies of color, we know you catch hell too, brown man, yellow man, red man, but you gotta speak up too. And you gotta stand up for your black brothers and sisters. To my black family, we must first understand that black life will never matter to our enemy until it matters to each other. They say, well, why would I care about killing them? They gonna kill one another anyway. Now, I don't think it's right because they created the conditions for us to kill one another. But it's reality. Somebody say it's reality. It's reality. So we must begin to lift up one another, come together with black folks, support black folks, support black business, build up the black community. Is that right? Yes, sir. Because when you know yourself, you can love yourself. And when you love yourself, you can love others. Like the great philosopher Whitney Houston said, learning to love yourself is the greatest. Love of all. Y'all know the song. So and today I say we deserve to live. Yes, sir. We deserve to live. We deserve to live. But that must first resonate in black folks. Do you understand? Yes, sir. No more saying the B word to your black sisters, brothers. No more calling yourself a nigga. Come on, somebody. No more being a trap queen. Just be a queen. You understand? Now, I know that a lot of our allies, we say the N-word too. I'm asking y'all to be the first ones to boycott that word. I don't care how you flip it. I know we say it's a negative, it's a positive, no, no, no. You take poison and put it in crystal, it's just poison crystal. So I say, we shall overcome on today. And I'm done. But I'll leave you with this. We shall overcome on today. But like James Brown said, we gotta all come over. So on today, I charge you. I charge you on today to make a pledge to yourself that you are going to step it up for the community 
every Saturday. My organization, we on the west side. We on the east side. We giving out food, tissue, water, neighborhood patrols, giving out whistles. So I'm challenging you as an ally, start an organization that supports people of color and organize. Brown folks, I need to see y'all in the hood, in Hispanic neighborhoods, Latinx neighborhoods, organizing. White folks, Native Americans, I'm not saying you're not doing it, but I want you to make that pledge. I pledge. Let's get it. I pledge. I pledge. Say your name. Terrell. Pledge. From this day forward, from this day forward, I will strive, I will strive to love myself, to love myself as I love, as I love my brother and sister, my brother and sister. Say your name, Terrell. I, I pledge, pledge from this day forward, from this day forward, I will organize, 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 I will organize for the betterment of my people. Right fist in the air, the whole the whole park, right fist in the air. I, I say your name. Terrell. Pledge. From this day forward. From this day forward. I will have no fear. I will have no fear. Not in my mind. Not in my mind. Not in my spirit. Not in my spirit. Not in my heart. Not in my heart. To speak up. To speak up. Stand up. Stand up. Whether in person. Or social media. Or in social media. Ah. I say your name. Terrell. Pledge. Pledge. That I will. I will. I will. I will. Be the change. Be the change. Be the change. Be the change. That I want to see. Let's get it. May God bless you. May God keep you. Please stay and listen to the rest of our program. No justice. No peace. No racist. No peace. No justice. No peace. No racist. Police. Arrest. Convict, send them killer cops to jail. The whole dang system is getting black people because the black, black people don't stop. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Thank you, sister. I appreciate you. So, here we are protesting, speaking out, and standing against hatred, bigotry, white supremacy, racism, and police terrorism. For many, this is your first rally. Any first timers? And for some, they've been down this road before. I believe, though, that on today, at the end of this road, may be justice. I believe that at the end of this road may be peace. But we have to stay on the road to get to the end. For those that's been doing this work, don't be upset that more folks are standing up now. Be excited for them. Sometimes it takes certain things to get us up. Somebody say it's time to get up. It's time to get up. And in this case, it took names like Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd for the blindness to come off, for hearing to come to our ears, for a voice to come to our mouths. Now we are all seeing clearly now, hearing well and speaking loud because we now understand enough is enough. How long are we supposed to just take this mistreatment from law enforcement? How long are we supposed to live in fear of white folks? How long are we going to just sit and not get involved with changing this country for the betterment of our people? I'll tell you, not long. Not long at all because God, the Most High, the Creator, is lifting up the people, rising up the spirits, sparking up our minds to a higher level of consciousness. Can I get an amen? Amen. Folks was now blind, but now they can see. Come on, somebody. I ain't come to preach, but was once lost. But now they're found. And what do you see? They see that black life has no value in this country. We can sing for you, run up and down a court for you, throw a ball for you, but that means nothing when white officers can sit on our necks for five minutes and hear us say we can't breathe. What else do we see? We see that white privilege, white means privilege, and black means unfortunate. And now that you have found, what did you find? I found, somebody say I found. I found. Courage. 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 Your voice. Your voice. Your legs. Your legs. And you found folks to stand with you. On that note, make some noise. <laughs> But don't allow this amazing grace moment 
to be an awful situation. What do you mean, Minister Stretch? Well, I don't want you to allow the fear to put blinders back on you. No more turning a blind eye. If we can't rely on the police to protect us, then we have to protect ourselves. If you see a situation that's not right, speak up, stand up, and correct it. That's the right, the moral, and the best thing for you to do. And before I close, I want to say to the Nevada officers, it's not about you. It's about us getting justice. We don't owe you anything. Not a meeting, not a treaty. It's not about you. Las Vegas Metro may not be like other cities, and I'm not really concerned with that, because Metro has killed unarmed black folks like other cities, and that can't be ignored. Now, I get it. You don't want to be painted with a broad brush and get the backlash from other cities. Well, if that's the case, then tell the truth. Your system has done, and it's still doing what other cities are doing. And at the end of the day, you are still connected to the same system that oppresses us. You may not have joined knowing you was a part of something oppressive, and you may not have malice in your individual heart, but it's bigger than you. See, the police were slave catchers during slavery, and those seeds are still manifesting, stop and frisk. Bogus purple call stops. So realize you are walking in a tradition that's always been opposition to the people. I'm not saying you as a person, but the organization as a whole you represent has been our greatest threat. And if you won't change, officer, speak up. Stand up and help to abolish that system that you represent. I have no hate towards no police officer as an individual, but I do indeed dislike the system of policing and how it abuses the people. So understand it's not personal because it's bigger than your uncle who's a cop, your cool brother who's a cop. It's about the system of policing. And being a cop of color is not much better because the knowledge that you have is still rooted in racism. It's about systems. And that goes for white supremacy and racism. You may not be a racist personally, but you represent a system that represents white supremacy because you are white. So it's your choice to go with it or go against it. So neither group should be offended when people express respectfully or indifferent how upset they are. You should respond with love and understanding. You may not agree with how some folks stood up, but that's okay. Some things ain't my style either, but I can still be compassionate. So where is your compassion? Where is your love and where is your understanding? Don't make it about you, officer and white person who's offended. Make it about justice. Make it about peace. Make it about love. Make it about Breonna Taylor. Uh, Floyd, uh, Floyd, young George Floyd, excuse me, Freddie Gay. Make it about them individuals. So don't be loud about George Floyd, but be quiet, officer, about Keith Childress Jr., Tashi Brown Farmer, and Byron Williams, who was all killed by Las Vegas Metro. So to the officers, it's not personal. Understand, this was started by the police, and you all have to be a part of that change by giving us justice, point blank, period. And while you're doing that, we will be organizing for justice because we are done asking. We're starting to demand. Somebody say demand. Yeah. And as I close, I say to you, it's not personal. It's revolution. Now to the people. I say rise up. Rise up. I say rise up. Rise up. I say stand up. Stand up. I say speak up. Speak up. Because you don't have the luxury to be on the sidelines anymore. It's 2020 and black life still has no value. That's why the oppressor can kill us like no big deal, view us as criminal, treat us less than a dog, and get away with it. So to the allies, if you say you love black lives, act like it. Don't be out here today with a sign and be ghosts next week. Don't just show up to a protest today and not work your butt off for justice tomorrow. If you see us being harassed by the police, do something about it with your privilege. As a white lady, if I'm being harassed, just your presence will make that officer get his act right. If you don't believe me, try it. You don't need no violence, no nothing. Just stand there and say, hi, I'm Heather Johnson or I'm Susie May. He gonna back the hell up and say, what's going on? 
to my say what's going on. What's going on? To my allies of color, we know you catch hell too, brown man, yellow man, red man, but you gotta speak up too. And you gotta stand up for your black brothers and sisters. To my black family, we must first understand that black life will never matter to our enemy until it matters to each other. They say, well, why would I care about killing them? They gonna kill one another anyway. Now, I don't think it's right because they created the conditions for us to kill one another. But it's reality. Somebody say it's reality. It's reality. So we must begin to lift up one another, come together with black folks, support black folks, support black business, build up the black community. Is that right? Yes, sir. Because when you know yourself, you can love yourself. And when you love yourself, you can love others. Like the great philosopher Whitney Houston said, learning to love yourself is the greatest. Love of all. Y'all know the song. So on today I say we deserve to live. We deserve to live. We deserve to live. But that must first resonate in black folks. Do you understand? Yes, sir. No more saying the B word to your black sisters, brothers. No more calling yourself a nigga. Come on, somebody. No more being a trap queen. Just be a queen. You understand? Now, I know that a lot of our allies, we say the N-word too. I'm asking y'all to be the first ones to boycott that word. I don't care how you flip it. I know we say it's a negative, it's a positive. No, no, no. You take poison and put it in crystal, it's just poison crystal. <laughs> so I say, we shall overcome on today. And I'm done. But I'll leave you with this. We shall overcome on today. But like James Brown said, we got to all come over. So on today, I charge you. I charge you on today to make a pledge to yourself that you are going to step it up for the community. Every Saturday, my organization, we on the west side, we on the east side, we giving out food, tissue, water, neighborhood patrols, giving out whistles. So I'm challenging you as an ally, start an organization that supports people of color and organize. Brown folks, I need to see y'all in the hood, in Hispanic neighborhoods, Latinx neighborhoods, organizing. White folks, Native Americans, I'm not saying you're not doing it, but I want you to make that pledge. I pledge. Let's get it. I pledge. I pledge. Say your name. Terrell. Pledge. From this day forward. From this day forward. I will strive. I will strive. To love myself. To love myself. As I love. As I love. My brother and sister. My brother and sister. Say your name. Terrell. I. I. Pledge. Pledge. From this day forward. From this day forward. I will organize. 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 For the betterment of my people. For the betterment of my people. Right fist in the air. The whole the whole park. Right fist in the air. I. I. Say your name. Terrell. Pledge. From this day forward. From this day forward. I will have no fear. I will have no fear. Not in my mind. Not in my mind. Not in my spirit. Not in my spirit. Not in my heart. Not in my heart. To speak up. To speak up. Stand up. Stand up. Whether in person or social media. Or in social media. Ah. Ah. Say your name. To real. Pledge. Pledge. That I will. I will. I will. I will. Be the change. Be the change. Be the change. Be the change. That I want to see. Let's get it. May God bless you. May God keep you. Please stay and listen to the rest of our program. No justice. No peace. No racist. No peace. No justice. No peace. No racist. Police. Arrest. Convict. Send them killer cops to jail. The whole dang system is getting.